Hi, I'm Ella Schofield and this is Brooke Wegner from Ray White in Frankston and this is the most unique and exciting housing project we've ever been part of and we can't wait to tell you what it's all about. The Digs is a co-housing development offering eight premium quality townhouses with a focus on sustainability and community living. Along with the townhouses, there's shared spaces including a community house, workshops and beautiful open gardens. With spectacular views across a beauty park and set within close proximity to everything that makes Frankston special, including the beach, cafes and restaurants, the train station, Frankston CBD and so much more. Our vision for the digs is one where uh, we are living in community to really engage with those that live uh, alongside us um, and uh, develop deeper relationships with, with the people that live next door. I guess for me, I've always been interested in how we live together, how people live together, and how we can best build our cities in ways that people can be connected, where people are supported, where people aren't left alone and lonely. I think that's just a really important part of social living. The point of the design was to try and maximise those inter incidental interactions as you walk from your car or to the mailbox or to put the rubbish out or sharing facilities like a workshop or the laundry. Uh, that's the whole point, is that you have these um, semi-regular connections with your community, depending on how much you want to interact with the community. And that's the other great thing about having private space and shared space, is there's that capacity to choose uh, how much involvement you want. Um, we've got four values for the digs. Um, generosity, learning, community and sustainability. And so I think the people that will be attracted to the digs are people who share those similar values. Um, we're not going to be uh, prescriptive with how the community will operate, that, that's something for the community to decide once, once it forms, um, but certainly uh, we'd be looking for people that share those sorts of values. From this location, young adults can get to almost everything they need. There is a TAFE and there's a university, there is uh, a train line not too far away that will get them almost anywhere they need to go and also a whole lot of shops and entertainment and hospitality. So I sort of think ahead to a couple of years time where my daughter will be able to walk to her part-time job. And I think all of those things are really exciting. I like the idea that we have older people and younger people and married people and single people and children and not children. And um, I think it's nice to be able to reflect that in the uh, community that you live in day to day. It also means that uh, in that people can play to their strengths. If you are a gardening guru, then please help with the garden. <laughs> we can do that together. We can work out who's got what strengths, who's got what gifts, who's got what interests. That's the exciting journey of forming a community is that we can make these decisions together. And one of the great things about um, a co-housing community is that we don't need eight lawn mowers. We only need one between the whole community. Um, so there'll be a lot less um, focus on things and a lot more focus on, on relationships and, and people. 